السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا ٹاپک آف ٹرانزیشنل ایپیتھیلیم ٹرانزیشنل ایپیتھیلیم از اے ویری اسپیشل ٹائپ آف ایپیتھیلیم اٹس این اسٹریٹیفائڈ ایپیتھیلیم میڈ اپ آف سیورل لیئرز آف سیلز ہاؤ ایور بٹ واٹس دا اسپیشل پوائنٹ اباؤٹ دس ایپیتھیلیم از دیٹ دا شیپ آف دا سیلز اور مارفالوجی آف سیل از ناٹ کنسسٹنٹ اٹ از ناٹ کانسٹنٹ دا شیپ آف دا سیل ول ویری ڈپینڈنگ اپان دا فنکشنل اسٹیٹ آف دا آرگن وٹ وی مین بائی دس سینٹینس از that uh, the shape of the cells in transitional epithelium can be cuboidal can be columnar or can be squamous but all this depend upon the functional state of the organ for example when the organ is in a stretched st- state the epithelium or the cells of epithelium will become flattened while when the organ is in a relaxed position then the epithelial cell will have their dome like cuboidal or columnar shape so uh, what are the dome shaped cell an important point and especially an important id point of transitional epithelium is the dome shaped cells so these are the cells which are present in the top most layer of transitional epithelium under relaxed uh, position under the relaxed state of function these cells uh, appear like a dome also they are sometimes termed as umbrella cells However, when the organ is in a stretched state uh, or non-relaxed position, then these dome-shaped cells become flattened. Okay, so the difference in the shape of epithelial cells is most prominent in this uppermost layer or in the uh, dome-shaped cells of transitional epithelium. Then another fact about transitional epithelium: it is made up of three to four layers. and then uh, we have the basal cells again the basal cells are those which are resting on the basement membrane mostly the basal cells are columnar in shape so location of transitional epithelium you can find it in the urinary bladder in ureter and in the urethra so mainly the transitional epithelium is one which is lining our urinary tract what are the function the most important function is that it enable the tissue to contract and expand and another important function is it provide the permeability barrier so the first function of contraction and expansion this is most prominent in case of urinary bladder for example if you consider that the inner lining of your bladder is made up of transitional epithelium so when the bladder is filled or when it is completely uh, filled by the urine this transitional epithelium allow the allow the urinary bladder to expand and uh, allow the bladder to hold more urine while the permeability barrier this second function is most prominent in case of ureter the transitional epithelial cells are tightly packed with each other and they don't allow any leakage of urine while it's traveling down the ureters so here uh, you can appreciate the two different states of transitional epithelium here in this uh, diagram b you can see the prominent dome shaped cells and by their shape we can recognize that in this diagram b the transitional epithelium or the bladder is in a relaxed position while adjacent to this when we see here here again the here the cells are flattened and we cannot appreciate the prominent dome uh, dome shape appearance so this shows that here the bladder is in a stretched position or non relaxed position okay here again we can see the relaxed bladder it's the actual histological diagram and here you can see a sketch of this histological diagram to make you understand and here you have a transitional epithelium in a flattened position here the dome shape appearance the umbrella appearance is lost and here you have the flat shape cells here you can appreciate this thing uh, more clearly in this sketch here so we have the two forms of epithelium uh, transitional epithelium the relaxed form and the stretched form i hope you can understand the concept of transitional epithelium thank you